it's freezing cold. And I miss you like hell. Hi. What you've just heard is a female vocal sample. Actually, my vocals, but with plenty of different effects on it. Audio effects. And this is our topic for today. I'm Stella, and you are watching the first episode of Sound Basics, a video series in which I'll introduce you to the very basics of sound engineering and music production. You've probably heard the term sound effects in many contexts, like sound effects in movies and video games, anything from explosions to artificially created sounds of a thunderstorm. But today, we're going to talk about sound effects, or audio effects, in the world of music production and mixing. Audio effects go back to the 1940s, when recording engineers began experimenting with studio equipment in order to manipulate the sound of the artists they recorded. One of the earliest effects was delay. Let's hear a guitar sample without any effects on it. Dry, as we call it. Now let's hear it with delay. In the 60s, distortion entered the game and completely changed the way music sounded. At first, it was used mostly on guitars. But with the time, artists began using it on bass guitars, vocals, and what not. Later on, the wow effect was invented. Also used mostly by guitar players, it took over psychedelic music, as well as disco and funk music later in the 70s. In the 80s, artists and producers started using audio effects to create more bombastic sounds, like the famous 80s snare with a gated reverb on it. Finally, in the digital era, with the invention of digital music software, entirely new effects emerged that couldn't be possible to create with analog devices. For example, the pitch correction tool, first used to correct out-of-tune vocals, but quickly became a musical effect in its own right. You can recognize it in many pop, hip-hop, and electronic productions. Just give in, there's no getting away from me. We use audio effects to manipulate sound of instruments and pieces of music to make it sound better, to give it a certain vibe or feel, and sometimes even to completely change it into something new. In our future videos, we'll take a closer look at many of these effects, as well as other topics about the basics of sound and music production. So thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to The Waves YouTube channel for more Sound Basics with Stella.